Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Ferrios. Ever wondered how designers drape sequin bodices with no darts? Well, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so for this video, I brought along two of my girlfriends. These are designs from my Nikolaiki line, where I used sequin fabrication for these dresses. Now, I wanted to use the sequin fabrication, but I wanted to do it without darts, because it would ruin the sequins. Now, what am I talking about? Well, here's one example. Notice these horizontal paillettes, they run up and down. Now, if I put in a dart here, it would just kind of ruin it, because the horizontal paillettes would go this way, and then it'd start going, uh-uh, no. No dart, okay? Now, for this one, notice the beads and the sequins, they run in a wave-like pattern. Again, if I put in a dart right here, it would ruin that beautiful pattern. So, I had to figure it out. How to drape that sequin fabrication with no dart. I'm gonna show you. I am so excited for this video and to show you this draping lesson because nobody really taught me this and a lot of my high-end seamstresses were the ones who kind of mentored me and taught me about this because they would get mad at me. They're like, why are you putting in darts in sequin fabrication? No, 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 this is what you do. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. So now I'm passing it on to you. All right, so I've got my form here and I've got the tape because I'm gonna do a plunging neckline similar to this dress, okay? Now, the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need pieces of muslin, all right? And I say cut one that is about 25 long by about 20 in width, okay? And the muslin will be for the base. Now the base, the under part, will have a dart. That's the part that nobody sees. That's the part that is against the skin. But the outer base, now here's the trick, you want to use a chiffon, all right? Because that's a similar fabric to the sequin fabric. The sequin fabric is usually in a chiffon or a tool that kind of gives, it kind of stretches, it kind of gives a little bit. So uh, just buy some cheap chiffon, this is what I use, and draw a grain line an inch away from the selvage, all right? And do the same for the muslin. Now, if you don't have chiffon, you can also use something like this. This is a toile, toile, very fancy, or kind of a cheesecloth, as long as it's light light and airy. That's going to mimic that outer sequin fabric that we are going to put no dart in. Okay, so let's begin. The first step is you want to drape the base, the under part, all right, that will have the dart. Okay, so take your muslin. I've got my one inch grain line away from the selvage and put that grain line. Now here's another trick. That grain line goes right in the neck edge. All right. A lot of books don't tell you that. They want you to put that grain line in the center front and then begin draping. No. You want to put that grain line right there. This is the up and down, the straight edge. You want to put that right at the edge of the neckline. Why? Because this is very sturdy and doesn't stretch. See? It's very, very sturdy. So you want to put that edge right there at the neckline, okay? So here we go. So lay it and make sure you've got a little extra for the top to pin. All right, don't pin right at the edge because then you don't have any room right here. So pin a little bit extra and line it, line it up right there and then pin. Pin at the shoulder and always pin a little bit at an angle. Remember that, don't stab it. And then just smooth right there at the edge and then go to the waist and then pin, okay? Keep pinning right there, okay? All right? Remember, the grain line now is right here. It's not in the center front, all right? Now you're gonna drape. And this one, because it's the under bust part, will have the dart. So smooth, smooth, smooth to the side. Notice right here, see right here in the armhole? See, we've got the armhole. You're gonna smooth to the side seam, all right? And don't mind this, because that will become the dart, okay? Now for this under part, yes, you can use the muslin. It's sturdier, because usually the under part of a gown, the bust of this, is a little sturdier fabric, so it can hold up the torso, the bust, okay? So now you can do your dart. Notice right here, it's talking to you, it's telling you, hey, I'm right here, all right? And you wanna usually just put that dart right in the princess. You can also shift the dart and put it to the side if you want, all right? So it's not here, all right? Whichever way, it's fine. I like to just put it right here, all right? So just play with it. Don't pull it, don't go like, uh, like that, because look what happens, all right? You're pulling the center front. So just make sure that this keeps straight. 
this keeps it the princess and then lightly pin all right another trick at the waist leave a little bit of room don't make it too tight on the waist all right you want to leave some ease all right so i'm pinning and pin up to the apex all right and that's the highest point of the bus okay so now we've got our dart you see right there and now you can smooth up to the side see right there just smooth to the side seam and pin pin and I'm gonna pin right here at the waist all right see right there now you can take that off and clip clip and ah oh, all right so I'm gonna show you what you do this takes a little bit of that tugging right there so just go up like that and then cut up and cut okay do the same thing here now I'm gonna cut all this excess because I really don't need it bye bye all right and right here notice notice a little bit of tension do you see that so watch oh it breathes all right that's all I need and then just cut all the excess here right to about an inch away from the side seam and then the armhole you can cut around all right right here and then the shoulder okay take a look at it and I think that looks good now what I like to do see this excess right here you can cut right up to about half an inch okay watch okay so there you have it that's your dart so now you can mark it take your pencil or your sharpie and mark starting at the waist right there do an L and then just mark broken lines up to the dart and then right at the dart do a line like that on the other side of the dart line right there and then mark at the waist right to there and then your side seam you've got your side seam then the armhole mark 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 shoulder right there good all right you can mark the neckline but it's already marked because that's the grain right there but i'm still kind of doing it right there all right and your dart mark your dart one side and then the other all right right to the top okay so now you have your underpiece so now you're ready to drape the quote unquote the sequined outer piece ready let's do it Okay, so now we're ready to do some non-darted draping magic or magique. All right, so here's the under part. This is hidden inside in the other side of this gown. Okay, it's got the dart. All right, that's the under part bustier. But now we're going to use the chiffon or toile muslin. Okay, see right here? See? Okay, now pay attention. <laughs> Remember, draw a grain line one inch away from the selvage, all right? A straight of grain, all right? You're gonna put that next to that plunging neckline, once again, because that's the stiffest non-stretch part of it, okay? Leave a little bit of room up there, just like that, and then right here, okay? And you want that extra, the extra edge, okay? Just like that, and then pin, just like what you did with the inner part, all right? So I'm pinning right there, and pinning right there, Now lightly pin because later that's going to change, okay? And that's part of the trick. All right, now here we go. <gasps> what do we do? Because there's a dart. What, or what, we create a dart. I mean, do I put, I can't because it's the sequin fabric. What am I going to do? What you want to do is just with your hands, just manipulate it softly drape that's what you want to do all right the first thing is you want to start right here see how this sits naturally pin that just pin it see it's already sitting there so just pin right there in the shoulder and the armhole so that's pinning into effect all right now come to the side all right now with your hands play with your hands and what you want to do see with your hands use both hands while you're draping you're slowly gonna smooth look at what is happening to this right here okay all right you want it to slowly go away so smooth this out all right I'm gonna do it to the side see just smooth all right don't pull but just smooth it out all right now pin lightly pin right there on the side seam pin right here on the side seam as well and then now pin right here just pin okay 
and then you want to distribute, look, with your hands, distribute a little bit of this, see? Just distribute it. Just slightly, just distribute it. Trust me, it'll all go away. And you want to pin about an inch intervals right here on the side seam. So you keep your fabric down, the chiffon, the toile down, okay? So now you smooth this out. Now here in the armhole, watch. You think, what am I gonna do with that? Again, it's all in the draping. It's all in your hands, your fingers. You wanna play with it lightly, watch. Look what I'm doing. My hands are holding it here and then here. Look what I'm doing, okay? And then pin. Watch, look at that. That excess, it'll lightly go away. Shh, okay? Lightly, just pin. Just continue pinning that armhole. All right, here we go. You wanna just pin right there. All right, and then we've got our waist now. Trim off some of this excess. We're not done yet, okay? You think, that was it? Okay, watch, I'm gonna trim some of this off. Right here. Cause I don't need any of that, okay? And then right here at the waist. Trim some of that. If you want, do your clip and all right here. To clip, clip, to just smooth it. See how that kind of takes a little bit of that tension? Smooths away, all right? And then if you need to repin it, go ahead. Repin. Now notice here, okay? You want to then now smooth. Look at that, see? You want to just smooth. So just keep repinning, keep repinning. See that? So you want to spread a little bit of that ease and find itself in the armhole, okay? So just keep pinning very carefully with your fingers, see? Just kind of, it kind of just spreads and goes away, all right? Because it's a chiffon, and that's what's gonna happen with the sequin fabrication too, all right? So you want it to sort of smooth it out. See right here? I'm gonna smooth that out, okay? Just smooth it out. Just be like, it's okay, honey, it's okay. You're just gonna go away. See, look, right here and then repin to the bodice. You have to have a lot of patience, but with all of this, look at that. Look at that. I've taken it away with no dart. Now here's another trick. What you wanna do is remove that center front pin, remove it, and lightly pull it away. Just pull it away, because what you want is that center front is gonna have a little bit of a bump. All right, that bump is gonna be kind of like the dart that you need. So you don't want that center front, that grain line to be straight on the edge the way it was underneath. It's gonna be a little bit of ways, all right? From zero back to zero, but I would move it about a quarter of an inch in and then repin, okay? So just repin, repin, all right? What that does, that gives a little bit of a cup right there, okay? That's another trick. I can't believe I'm telling you guys all these tricks. <gasps> I should put it that all in a book, sometime soon, huh? <laughs> okay, here we go, all right? Now just take a look, a final look over. Okay, let's cut this here. And see, I see a little bit right there. Do you see that in the armhole? Don't worry about that. You wanna just take that, take your fingers and just lightly, just smooth it, smooth it and then it'll go away, all right? It'll go away right there. Trim off any excess carefully. Trim it off, all right? And I think we're good. Okay, finally, get your Sharpie or your pencil and mark. Mark the shoulder, all right? Mark the armhole. Mark your side seam your waist, okay? And now for the front, I'm gonna use a different color Sharpie so you guys can see, all right? I'm gonna use red, <laughs> all right? So notice this is gonna be a little bit of ways, okay, like that. And there you are. Now is a good time to check your drape and to check for any lumps and bumps. Make sure that everything is smooth. So what I notice here is a little bit of buckling. Do you see that? So take your fingertips and you want to maybe re-smooth it and repin it just to smooth. See? And what it's doing, see? My marks that I did, it's kind of like changing them. And you can change that, okay? You can remark that. But just sort of smooth. Don't pull. Just smooth. See, very carefully. 
smooth. See, right there? And then just smooth it out. Just smooth that out. And then now check the armhole right here, a little bit of a bump right there. So just re-smooth, see? Right there, get your pin out. And then repin, and then just smooth that out. See, there's a bump, and then just carefully. And it's really all about, like I said before, patience, and then just your fingertips. See, take your fingertips. I take all my fingers right there, and then just re smooth, re smooth that out. And so far, I think that's good. See, so now it's smoother, it's cleaner, okay? So, what I'm gonna do right now is remark it, okay? So, take the red marker just to remark. Notice this, look, look at the side seam, how it changed. So, remark, and what you wanna do is just kind of say bye bye, X that out, because that's the good one. Also, you can just put an arrow like that. <laughs> it says that's the line that you should use, okay? And I'm remarking my armhole right here, okay? Okay, because I smoothed it out a little more. Okay, and I think we are good. Okay, so there you have it. A non-darted woven bodice. Now that is couture, darlings. <laughs> Thanks for watching Fashion School with Nick Varios. Now y'all know the drill. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Now, for more tips and tricks, make sure to get my book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com.